I hope that you are all doing really really well. I just got in from work and I've come straight up to the spare room because tonight we're going on a date night and I thought I'd bring you guys along because I thought that would be fun. We're going to the cinema tonight to see Knock at the Cabin which is the new M. Night Shyamalan film which should be really really good. I have heard really good things and I think it's based on a book that I've read before called the Cabin at the End of the World by Paul Tremblay, which is a book that I really enjoyed. I mean, I enjoyed the first bit, but the end I wasn't too sure about. Also, the last time we went to the cinema was when we were in New York, which is a couple of weeks ago now. It will be kind of like reliving New York a little bit, which is making me happy. I think we're gonna hit up Five Guys, which is somewhere we also went in New York. So it's like a little recreation of New York date night. I've already just done my makeup and my makeup bag is literally overflowing. So I've tried to like shove it all back in and just don't all look at that right now. I think I'm just gonna chuck another jumper on to be honest for the little date night. This is what I mean. This is the makeup situation at the moment. It is bursting at the seams. So I really need to sort that out and get a new makeup bag. If you guys have any recommendations, please do leave some in the comments because I'm getting desperate at this point. I'm gonna find a jumper and I actually just organized these cupboards, but I did just stick this one in the top because I actually got it in the post last week. So I haven't done anything with it yet. I just sort of put it on top, didn't really put it away. So I think we're gonna go with this one. It's this brown jumper from Girl No all and it says to the person behind we are all we have be kind to all and then on the back it has this same like little print and I love it I got it in a big size so that it's nice and oversized and I think this is going to be the perfect cozy cinema outfit I think it's the most me thing ever to change out of a jumper into another jumper I, I, I like I like variation in my day okay like I get home from work I wore this to work today so because we have dress down Fridays so I wore this to work today and I just feel like I need a change for the date night so we're going with it lighting here when the lamp is on does me no justice just look at those flyaways okay here is the fit we've got my girl knows all oversized jumper on and then I have these trousers, which honestly, I think I'm in my trouser era right now. I'm obsessed with these from H&M. They're wide leg and they are only $14.99, which I just thought was an absolute bargain. I have been wearing these every day to work. I love them. I'm gonna find Jay now because I've actually barely spoken to him since I got home. I literally got in, came straight to get ready. Nero. What are you doing? I was having some cuddles. <gasps> oh, coming. how cozy. Have you missed me? I don't get that. I just get, you're right. <laughs> you missed me. How have you been today? Good. Are you excited for Knock at the Cabin? Yes, I am. You've been hyping it up, so I'm hoping that it will be as good as you say. That the, the, was it based on a book? Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping it's as good as the book is then. The book's good, but the endings, I'm not sure. We're going to have to make our own minds up afterwards. Well, sometimes they change the ending a little bit, don't they, in like books to film things, yeah. so maybe it'll be different. Yeah, I was saying that, I think. Maybe they'll change it, I don't know. Mm. I don't know, we'll see. Looking forward to seeing it. I got my nails done the other day, and I always show you guys my nails in the vlog, so I obviously need to show you again. It's a little Valentine's Day set. Oh, I love them so much. A little bit bright for me. I don't usually go this bright with colour and everything, but I think it might be a new era. Maybe I'll start wearing colour. New era. New era. I'm in my trouser era. I'm wearing my bright nails era. Little close up of my nails. They've got little love hearts on and they're pink and red. Absolutely love. Usually in terms of snacks, we take our own to the cinema, but because we are going for dinner first, I don't think we need like a massive cinema snack, but I'm prepared because bought us some butter kissed. I bought us these little snack packs. They come in a pack of six. And if you guys saw the vlogs, when we were in New York and we went to the cinema, we had the nicest salted caramel popcorn ever. So I was basically trying to recreate that. Shoes with the outfit. Gonna go for Vans. Checked Vans. I've not worn those for ages. Oh. 
five guys. Me too. We love vans in this household. <laughs> Outfit, trousers, checked vans. <laughs> again at 6 p.m. again until the end of October so it's just gonna get lighter and lighter but nice. I'm not gonna lie I do kind of like the dark nights but you know when you've been at work for the entire day and you get up in the morning and it's dark you come home when it's dark it's like the entire day is like gone yeah I do enjoy it. a cozy night though a cozy night too just driving now to Five Guys which is a little bit of a drive away actually so I think we should put on some date night tunes and just enjoy the little drive out and then the cinema is literally opposite Five Guys so Perfect. once we're there we're there yeah and the movie is at 7 30 so we've got a little bit of time to like sit have a chat enjoy food etc and then see the film it's gonna be good Okay, so in terms of date night tunes, we're trying Paramore's new album. Came out today. Came out today, yeah. Neither of us have even listened to it yet, so we're going to give that a go, I think. Here. Too busy. I was just about to say the exact same thing as you then. I was about to say, it doesn't look too busy. Uh, although, I don't know, it's a bit, it's a medium busy. Medium yeah, busy. Let's go. into the film now feeling really cool that was really really yeah. me it was perfect. just came out of the film what did you think? It was really good. I was pleasantly surprised. It was really, really good, actually. I really mm. enjoyed it. They did stick to the book, I will say. And yeah, it was a good film, I thought. Batista was really good in it. Yeah, he was and really good. Rupert Grant was really good in it. His accent and everything, mm. really spot on. Oh, Jonathan Graf, really, yeah. really, really good in it. Yeah, I'd recommend seeing that. It mm. was a really fun watch. I'm glad we went to see it. I needed a wee the whole film. <laughs> No joke, I drank so much drink in Five Guys that I went to it twice in the cinema, didn't I? Yeah. And then when the film started, I refused to go because I was like, I really don't want to miss like a single second. Like, I want to see the whole film. So I refused to go and I just sort of was sat there like trying not to squirm <laughs> because I was desperate. And I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's like a horror film. Like it was kind of marketed at like, oh, they're trying to get in. And I know that in like the trailers were like oh we're trying to do the apocalypse but it's more of like a home invasion-y kind yeah. of thing yeah and do you know what the book cover i don't know if we're going to change it because of the film but the book cover has all of these you know their um weapons yeah it has that on the front mm. with a cabin and it looks really horror as well but it's like kind of like thrillery yes yeah, more I'd thrillery say. than horror really really good mm. and also the trailer for scream looks so good oh is that the first time for you to see, to see that trailer yeah i don't really like search trailers on youtube to watch mm. so when i see them it's usually in the cinema and that trailer looked looks amazing good, right? oh my god i'm so excited for that film even though the last scream film kind of was disappointing that one the new one looks really really good and we're gonna see it anyway yeah because I, mean, I love scream but it does look like they're trying to shake it up a bit it I does think. it looks like they're trying to change it a little bit so 
Maybe that's the next cinema that's, date yeah. night. Nero is happy to see us. <laughs> Hello. Hello, my baby. Yes. Okay. Go and play. We are home now and Jay's just putting the bin out. What a lovely way to end the date night. I don't know where these lights are coming from, but we're going with it. We are just gonna get ready for bed now and start to chill. I'm really tired now. Yeah, I'm excited to get in my PJs, get in bed and relax for the rest of the night. What's the best way to end a date night? Play video games. <laughs> we're gonna play Hogwarts Legacy because Woo! we have been obsessed with that since it came out. So we're really excited to play it again tonight. We've been playing it like every opportunity basically and it's our new favorite thing. Our character on there is called Nero Snaggletooth because our dog is called Nero and he has the cutest little Snaggletooth ever. And we thought it sounded Harry Pottery. It does sound Harry Pottery. Where yeah. is he? Nero. Come on. <laughs> we're going upstairs. <laughs> you coming upstairs? Come on, let's go upstairs. Oh no, we're going down. Making <laughs> drinks. Balance is restored. This squash is the best. Got the drink. Gonna get ready for bed now, get some PJs on. So I'm gonna end the vlog here, seeing as we are back from the date night and now we're just gonna get in bed and play Hogwarts Legacy all night. So with that said, thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already to see all my future content. We're planning our honeymoon, so if that interests you. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> Have an amazing day or evening, depending on where you are and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.